Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a review on the steam turbine which is made by this American model called Dog Dave. Now you can pick one of these guys up at websites like shop.vapereve.com which is spelled as shop.vapereve.com and they go for 210 US dollars for the polish finish, 210 US dollars for the machine finish like this guy here, or 260 US dollars for the titanium finish. Now I currently have mine with a dual coil setup at 0.7 ohms and 3 to 5 straw mesh. So let's take a bait and talk about it. So the machine finish steam turbine is actually really similar to that of like a brush finish like stainless steel. This is how it looks like next to a brush finish atti and a brush finish mod. Now the top cap of this guy comes with like several ridges on it and it has two um, stacked 0.8 mm air holes on each side. It will come with a 3ml Pyrex tag so you don't quite have to like worry about crackable e-liquids cracking your tank and it will come with this tank protector over your tank. Now this tank protector and it like prevents your tank from actually cracking should you happen to like topple your mod over or like drop your atomizer for example. Now what I found is that you should not actually over tighten this um, tank protector but rather just make it like finger tight as I actually had this guy stuck once and it was quite a pain to actually remove it. If you have no locks, do actually like no locks up the threads to enable like an easy um, putting on and like removal of like this tank protector itself. Now the positive pose and the negative pose of this guy is actually made out of um, Phillips head screws and they are all of the same size. And you will notice that this guy actually comes with three wick holes and each wick hole is of roughly 2.5 mm. So because of that, you are able to run a single coil setup, a U-wick setup using these two wick holes here, or a dual coil setup. However, if you're using a dual coil setup, do you know that you have to use the two opposing wick holes to make sure that they actually will line up with your air holes on your top cap. Now, what I found is that before doing um, this review, I actually went online and like searched several forums. And I found that several people were actually a bit afraid of like over wicking as this extra wick hole kind of like doubles up as like a fill hole. And personally, I've only had this guy over wicked on me once. And that was when I was using a fairly thin um, e-juice in my tank. However, if you notice, the on the atomizer deck actually comes with like a lip on it and unlike several like Genesis atomizers that are out there if this guy happens to over wick it's not one bit messy as the top cap is held on via an o-ring and like this whole bunch of like threading here and this lip actually helps to like catch the juice that the excess juice that happens to like flow out and if you're to just like set sit your mod down after it happens to like over wick you'll notice that some juice would just like simply flow back into your tank just by like this wick hole over here so yeah not quite a problem in terms of like over wicking for me at least now the positive pose of this guy actually has a black darren insulator over here and I heard that some people have actually like melted their insulator before. However, I found that if you were to drip some e-liquid onto your positive pose and onto this insulator before dry burning it, you would actually help to like prevent that insulator from getting way too hot on like melting it in like the dry burning process. I heard Dog Dave has also come up with like this Teflon insulator that you can also pick up at Baitref's website for like two US dollars and this guy here is actually able to like withstand higher temperatures. Um, you can also pick up like a spare Pyrex tank and like a spare o-rings from like um, Baitref's website and it would set you back 12 US dollars if I remember correctly. So in my opinion 
I personally think the flavor of the steam turbine is just like flat out phenomenal. As the top cap of this guy is actually fairly recessed, like have, has a fairly reduced chamber in it. As the thickness of the walls are actually fairly thick, as you can see here, and the air chamber itself is kind of like chamfered upwards in this way. So it kind of like intensifies the overall like flavor and like the overall vape that you're experiencing when you're vaping on the steam turbine. I've tried comparing this um, atomizer side by side with like several of my other setups that I have. And if you're to vape it next to a Fogarty, it vapes really similar in my opinion and you can't quite tell which is actually which. So while I love the steam turbine a lot, especially in terms of like how easy it is to set up with like the same size screws and like the flavor of this guy, there's one aspect of it that I just like absolutely do not like and that's the floating center pin. Now I've heard that some people are able to like just tap out their center pin with just like the binding of a book. I've had found that my floating center pin was like held on really tightly. Now when I first received this steam turbine, my 510 connector was actually recessed to the point where it was slightly below this black insulator over here. So the only mod that it could fire on was like a caravella and nothing else. And now I did not have a hammer and I tried using the book bind um, method, however that did not work. So I had to resort to using this 4kg dumbbell to actually knock it out. And it did, did take me like several tries before um, the center post finally started to like protrude a little bit. So I'm guessing that can be like a potential pain to like several people who are out there, especially if it did take like more than eight knocks of like a 4kg dumbbell to actually get the center pin slightly protruded out. But Overall, a really slight gripe as once you manage to get it just slightly protruded and if you have like a mod that has a an adjustable pin for example, it's pretty much just like a one-time thing which I think is well worth it in my opinion. So yeah, overall check out the steam turbine. Um, it's one of the my daily atomizers that I use like every day as the flavor of this guy it's just like flat out phenomenal. And while there are several atomizers with like um, screw on top caps out there, um, this guy actually has like perfect alignment in terms of like air hole and wick hole. So you don't quite have to worry about having to like send paper down like several threads in order to like make everything set flush. So yeah, I guess that's all I have for you guys today. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you guys are keen, and see you guys next video. Peace!